Today's a little bit special. When you see me sitting here, you know I'm about to spring something on Chris. So. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me Jody from weartesters.com. Thank you for joining us again at our YouTube channel. Today is Christmas, so happy holidays to you guys. Today's not Christmas. It is too. <laughs> it's not right now, but when we upload it will be. What happened was somebody from our Discord community, if you haven't joined yet, make sure you do. His screen name is I'm from Albany. He approached me on our Discord community and said, hey, we really wanna get something for Chris. So. Who the hell is we? they put something together for you, babe. I'm so, so excited. That's where I'm going to end my explanation because I really want to see him open all this up. So come on down. So I could just like dig right into it? Yeah. Well, first off, thank you guys. Uh, I appreciate it. You didn't have to, probably shouldn't have. I don't know if I deserve it, but let's go ahead and check it out. I love the logo. Oh geez, this is a long one. That's what she said. Let me read it to myself first, just in case there's any private moments. Okay, so uh, he says that uh, although 2020 has been a less than stellar year, which I believe we all agree, it kind of sucks. <laughs> For nearly all of us, one of the bright spots has been your YouTube channel and the Wear Testers Discord community. I appreciate that because uh, this year has sucked for us too. I'm glad that we were able to help you guys out. Given that this is the time of year when people pay things forward, all of us at the Wear Testers Discord community want to show our love and appreciation with a couple of gifts. The first one is a donation to Souls for Souls on behalf of Wear Testers. Uh, that's probably the coolest thing. Granted, I don't know what else is in here, but like that's really, really, really dope. The second thing is something you said you didn't get a chance to cop back in the 90s, and we all know that you'll appreciate them so uh happy holidays merry christmas from the discord so thank you very much just in case you guys don't know i am from albany has a great podcast yes he does okay uh, and i'm not just saying that because i was on it like i've done a few podcasts and we do plan on doing our own in 2021 Hopefully, now that I've said that on camera, I've kind of got to follow through with it. I've been on many podcasts so far, and there's not like a shot to any of them because they've all been great in their own right. But I Am From Albany had, I don't know what it was about him. I don't know if it was his voice, which sounds weird, but like it was his voice, his delivery, and his questions. It was so good. Where I thought that I was getting interviewed, like a legit interview. Like I, he made me feel special. So if you haven't checked it out, his podcast is called Let's Ask an Expert, and I believe it's on almost all platforms. So you can check that out. I'll also leave that in the description just in case you you guys wanted to check it out but um with that being said yo dude that's sick somebody listens man and it's not nike although they've been doing better so you got to give them credit but look he did his homework yo that's now which one of these Ooh. which one of these is it because i know for a fact that i circled the pros i really wanted those really wanted those and the fun thing is i got all three of them okay now because I, I can afford it now those fun story so these right here th i know this is a tangent i'm sorry but these right here are the air jordan trainer this is the first trainer that they've ever done it was like a wrestling shoe it was not even meant to be worn casually and i owned these right here it was the first jordan i ever bought myself so it's like my favorite air jordan ever the jumpman pro the left or not the left but the outside like the outrigger little wrap of the rubber the red part was notorious back in the day from peeling away from the upper which is a flaw and so back then i had heard that there was a nike refund program where you can send them your shoes and then they would send them back or a new pair so i sent them these and they sent me back those I know. And then to top it off, my dog ate them. And I'm not joking. It's for real. She literally ate the top collar off of it. So yeah, that's my fun story. I wanted these. There's a fun story I got with those too, but I'll tell you that in another time. Barclays, the 3.0s were dope. Those were sick. Luke Longley used to wear those. Penny 3s, up tempos. Okay, I'm gonna get in. So, sorry. This is uh, already a, a trip. They're back. Oh man, I think these are originals. Yo, I want to smell them, but I'm not supposed to because they're used. These are sick, dude. This is my favorite colorway of this shoe. I used to have the retro of these. This is what I did the Penny Project on. I um, never had them originally though, and these are my size. I think the coolest thing, not just like having these back or whatever, but for one, like the bubbles, man, with the split and the seam is super cool. And I know that everybody likes to dog on Nike for, you know, what they don't do, myself included, 
but if we're comparing, the bubbles are bigger in the retro. So I think that that's really interesting. They don't have the seam or anything, but again, they're bigger. That's a plus. And then everything else that I'm checking out though, like they really did. I mean, they did a good job, dude. Like you wouldn't even know that these were different all this time later. Like, it looks like the same exact material. But yeah, the synthetic leather, same stuff as this, obviously broken in. Like whoever's over at Nike and, and Jordan brand and they're recreating these shoes for people like us, they don't always do great. Like the Air Fly 89s are awful, but stuff like like this at least they didn't f this up they look good and they feel good this is a dope shoe i know a lot of people don't like these but i've always loved the penny threes i've loved every penny this is the best one in my opinion of the penny three not of the pennies but of the penny three i would like to say a year and a half ago when we started the discord community this was drew's baby mm -hmm. and i know that i was very hesitant about it because i was just like who the heck in our community oh, even me is going to want to like converse with me i am so small on i don't think i'm small on the wear testers team because i feel like i definitely pull my weight mm -hmm. but i was much more behind the scenes and yeah. so i was just like drew like sure give me a a space on there, I guess, but I don't, who's gonna wanna like chat it up with me? I don't know. Everybody's been- Super cool. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> I, yeah. did, I was not expecting this. I was not expecting it to grow from, I think we started out with 20 people mm -hmm. and now we're at- Almost 500, yeah. it's kind of crazy. And when you have that many people, we're not all gonna get along. We're not all going to share the same thoughts. You know what I mean? Like we're not gonna share the same views on things, but the fact that we can talk to each other about it because we're all, people and so like that's the part where if you're i don't want to say man enough because that sounds sexist and stuff and i'm not trying to be like that but if you're human enough to be able to understand that that guy over there is different than that person over there but you can still come together with one common goal or one common interest i think that that's important and i know it's just shoes but this is like something small like this can do that you know, like they can bring people together and do something cool. I think this is dope. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting uh, everything that we do, especially if you are part of the Discord community because they're the ones that go above and beyond, clearly. I'm just very grateful for everyone, you know? So that's all. I don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> so um, thank hey, you. Forrest Gump. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys so much for everything. These are dope. Actually, I was Those gonna- Those are gonna have to go. Yeah, these are these are replacing the new balances for sure. I was gonna put the last unboxing that we did, the, the, the 2003, uh, I think it was the Hyperflight or Ultra Flight. That's what it was, the Hyperflight, that's a different shoe. Yeah, so I'm gonna put these over there because they're special. I really wanna wear these, but I know that they're not wearable. They're like pulling I apart. I can see them. Yeah, they're pulling apart everywhere. Half of me wants to pull them apart too, but like everybody freaked out. So <laughs> I'm not- I'm not gonna do that, but I really do like seeing the tech. I just I know what's in here, so I'm I'm not going to. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, you know, didn't mean to alarm anybody. <laughs> uh, but thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate you. If you were interested in joining what I feel is the greatest community within sneakers, then you know, go ahead and click the link in the description box, and we'd love to get to know you. You can get to know us, and you know, we can keep it moving. So thank you so much for everything, and until next time, guys, have a good one.